A millionaire by 26 is now living lavish after discovering the internet money cheat code. Hello, man. How you doing? Meet Thomas, a self-made multi-millionaire. Good to see you, man. House looks awesome. Yeah, man. I have two brothers. My mom was the breadwinner in my family. You know, boss bitch energy. She actually works for me right now. In business school, I majored in marketing, but I never really used my degree. It's at my mom's house. I don't like <laughs> it's put just it buried away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why did you buy this place? I walked in and I felt the vibe. Like it's like a big open concept. The fridge is huge. Do we like, see inside the fridge? Do you do a lot of cooking? No, I don't cook. No? I normally make like a smoothie in the morning. Do you have you had a smoothie yet? No. Can no, you no. make me one? Yeah, sure. Yeah. My first job ever was at Wendy's. And how old were you then? 16 to 18. Went from Wendy's to driving an I-8 in a brand new house. Yeah. <laughs> it's all the power to anybody watching, I swear to God. Do you ever <laughs> pull up to that Wendy's? Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> But exactly how was Thomas able to achieve this level of success? Stick around to find out. I see how you can drink this every day. For me, in order to get a lot of calories in, I have to and I have smoothies. I don't have like the biggest appetite, appetite in the world. Bro, you gotta take some of mine. <laughs> my aha moment was my mom saying to me when I was maybe like 15, she's like, you make your own luck. And I didn't understand it. I was a very like skinny kid. I thought I was just naturally inclined to be that way. I had like worked out and ate and I put on like five pounds. And that was the big thing. I was like, if I can change this thing that I thought, I could change everything. You're controlling your own destiny. My personal rise is just all about pushing forward my own belief in myself. Remember what he just said, because throughout the video, you're going to see exactly what he means. When I was in like grade nine, I had like a learning disability or whatever. I was a below average student. I fast forward five years later and I was at a top 10 university in Canada on the dean's list. So I graduated university and started to do this like three or four months after. I basically had a friend at the time he was like 19. He was living in a hotel paying $100 a night. We're just hanging out with him drinking, going out. And he basically told me like what he did and it blew my mind. He showed me that it was real. I could do it too. It costs like nothing to start. And it's not like a big like overhead type of business where you need 50 employees in a physical location. Okay, I wanna be clear. This is not some get rich quick guru video. However, Thomas does get into some very helpful tips in order to succeed in his industry. The the theme of the place is vibes. People could come over for the first time and feel comfortable. Yeah. But I could also like live in it. How long and do you keep the pool open for? I'm gonna close it like after Halloween. So, so. in November? Yeah. There whatever. might be snow out and your pool's open still? If it happens, <laughs> it happens. That's awesome. When did you make your first million? When I was 26. Graham Stephan, like the YouTuber, he had a video of how he was like a millionaire at like 28 or something like that. Yeah. I was like, I can't let him beat me. <laughs> so, That's like a, skylight. a skylight right there. That's really cool. Yeah, because this is natural light right here. So this is where do my work. I just like working from home. I've always done that. And you play your games here too? Haven't played like really in like months. In the MLG playlist on Halo Reach, I had the 70th highest kill death ratio in the world. I'd say confident that I was top 500 player in the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Holy like, shit, that's confident. a really good one. You're the average of the five people you spend your time around, but those five people don't have to be the people who are physically next to you. I could be watching some of my favorite YouTubers. Like they're part of the reason why I've allowed myself to be like, no, no, it's okay, like you, you can, can do it. You can do it. I'm so glad that Thomas said this because it's exactly what I'm trying to provide with this series. Every room has a bathroom and its own shower. So really, so how many bathrooms are there? It's just excessive. There is five bathrooms. This is a massive bedroom and there's two separate walk-in closets. The do you use both light. of them? Not really, but I love whatever. how you space out your clothes like it's a clothing store. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The little divides between them. And yeah, the I, other closet's just empty. Would well, you rent this out to me? <laughs> Stay living yeah, there? Right? Yeah, yeah, like I could, whatever. I could, I could live in here. I could sleep in here. Yeah. <laughs> um, one day, I don't know, somebody else moves in or something. Somebody. Can I stay for a while? Whatever. <laughs> you get the idea. So you found a lot of inspiration through YouTube videos, for connecting sure. with other people that are who you wanted to become, yeah, rather like, than the people you were necessarily beside. It's not like I hate any of the people who I grew up around, and it's just like, you know, we have different philosophies and different ways of like living in our life and if I wanted to get where I wanted to go, I knew that that environment would have to change. If you're looking for a success-oriented environment, hit subscribe.
I've been doing what I do for about six years now. When I initially started, I worked pretty much for six months and made like zero dollars, but I had like absolute faith. It's kind of hard to even explain. And mm. I was like, man, like, I just want this to happen a little faster. I try to be around more people with like a growth mindset. People take like a personal accountability over their actions. Like, some of my best friends may not be financially successful, but they do have that like openness of growth in their mind. Whereas like some people are just like, you are who who you are and that's who you will always be and that's not the case very weird for me to think like five years ago i basically had like zero dollars if somebody said to me that i would be where i am it's very hard to picture how much did you spend on this mattress five thousand and the whole bed itself was ten thousand it has a massage function if really you yeah are you serious? Well, on, on the thing yeah okay hold up the, the kind of massage is, no like i knew i wouldn't use it that much <laughs> But I was like, who it. else could say that they have a massage bed? So, so I had to do that because I had to flex on my friends. <laughs> Did you think you were going to be when you were young? I would just say successful. There was a lifestyle that I wanted. Before I had this, I was driving my mom's 2006 Honda Accord. That's insane. So you, this is your first car? Pretty much, yeah. yeah. First thing that I sold uh, would have been a camera that a lot of YouTubers use at the time was Canon ADD. This is a solid, solid camera. After that, I called up my friend. I'm like, you don't understand, man. This is going to be huge. So what exactly does Thomas do for a living? So I do affiliate marketing and Amazon like FBA, driving traffic just to like websites different products. And for those of us who don't know what that means? Basically just recommending a product or a service and then you get a percentage of the sale. If you ever on any website, you scroll down, you'll see refer a friend on nearly every site. That's affiliate marketing. So rather than referring one friend, you can refer millions of friends. <laughs> if you got a million friends. Yeah, there you go. Before we get too into his work, I need to understand his lifestyle. I like my adult life a lot. I just kind of like wake up and do what I want. Uh, read, I do boxing, go to the gym. So this is your gym? Yeah. Huff. Yeah. Gym, Boxing. home of the champ or home of champions. Is there a lot of champions that come out of this place? Are you a champion that comes out of this place? <laughs> <laughs> One day, right? When you're trying to do things that nobody else has done around you, you have to think and act in a way that is different than everybody else. I had to combat against my environment constantly, all the time. Is that yeah. really hard? I mean, kind of. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I guess it depends on what you define as hard. So how much affiliate sales is Thomas making per day? I'm just gonna do some math. I probably influence 100,000 plus dollars in sales. That's an estimate though. Where are your goals taking you now? Have great relationships with good people. I don't wanna have to like, ever have to worry about money ever again, kind mm -hmm. of thing. I don't have as much like material desires, wanted to get like a bigger house or a nicer car or anything like that. Thomas now gives us some juicy advice on how to succeed in e-commerce. A lot of people kind of solely do the things for money. Maybe they're too online marketing e they'll just crank out content or crank out articles, crank out products, they'll be subpar. Uh, I would probably start on like when YouTube videos, I would not necessarily say get into the habit of buying expensive courses or doing anything like that. Other end of that is some people will do like this crazy like passion project, put way too much time and effort into one little thing, maybe ignoring the scale or some other like more important factors. Have you ever been like completely beat up? Nah, nah. No? Like, <laughs> it always I, I wins. Could be. Like, <laughs> you could be. Don't catch me yeah. doing this. <laughs> find that a lot of people, they'll try jumping from thing to thing to thing. Pick a lane, commit to it for like a minimum of like six months, give it your all. Focus yeah. on one thing at a time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What type of challenges did Thomas face? And was this all hard? I had like a lot of struggles connecting with people, not seeing eye to eye on like how the world works. Like it can be like lonely, it can be challenging, it can be difficult. I view the things that have happened that weren't positive as lessons, you just get through it and it's no problem. So as much as I would say like, I would wanna do things differently, it may change where I'm at and who I am. And if I like who I am, then I don't wanna change the things that have happened to me. Not to say it was a straight line, because it definitely wasn't, but I had faith that I would end up where I wanted to be. I would say going right back to like the lesson that my mom taught me, like you make your own luck, with every positive thing that happens, it pushes forth the belief that I can do even more. If you do the right things and you put yourself in the right situation to succeed, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. I learned a lot in this video, but you're gonna need to watch this video to get a whole other perspective from another entrepreneur. See you next week.